Good morning, I'm Ray Gallant, Vice President with Volvo Construction Equipment for Product Management and Productivity. We're here at the Utility Expo, very excited to be debuting our electric machines and having a chance for customers to actually try them and operate them. And I'm here with our partner, Beam Global, uh, introducing a new way of charging with renewable solar energy. Okay, thanks Ray, and I'm Desmond Wheatley, I'm the President and CEO of Beam Global a San Diego-based sustainable technology innovation company. And we're delighted to be here with our partner, Volvo, demonstrating that you can operate electric construction equipment without having to have a connection to the utility grid by using these products which generate and store all of their electricity locally from renewable sources. Okay, with the introduction of our electric machines a couple of years ago, uh, Volvo realized that we had to have a number of different charging solutions to be able to allow customers different options when they want to charge these machines and work on their job sites. So one of the partnerships we explored was who in the industry is out there that can build charging stations that would run on renewable energy so we have a totally green system for our equipment. So you're not u utilizing fossil fuels to generate electricity to power electric equipment. So that's, uh, we researched what was out in the market. We found Beam Global in uh, San Diego and decided to partner with them. And it's been very fruitful so far. And we're able to offer the Beam products through our network uh, to our customers. That's been. Yeah, thanks Ray. Yeah, we were uh, obviously delighted to meet up with Volvo. And I have to tell you that we were never anticipating that this piece of equipment would be used to charge construction equipment. Actually, this has been developed and been deployed over the last decade to charge electric sedans, mostly uh, in built up environments. So uh, what we're looking at here is a, is a product which is rapidly deployed. There is no construction, no electrical work, and as a result, no permitting requirement to get these things in the ground. Uh, they generate and store all of their own electricity. As I say, these things are deployed in hundreds of locations across the United States and internationally, providing EV charging for government fleets and for commercial fleets and even for the general public in, in city type environments. What's so exciting about what we're doing here with Volvo today is that we're enabling a whole new generation of uh, construction equipment, clean, green, uh, zero emissions, zero noise pollution, uh, to be charged in locations where it may not be necessarily easy to get a circuit or where there may not be an electric circuit existing. We don't want you to have to bring out generators, diesel generators or anything else to do that. You can in fact power your equipment and dig on sunshine. We call it driving on sunshine for sedans, but in this case you'd be digging or doing whatever else you do on nothing but the power generator generated uh, from this solar powered unit. No construction, no electrical work, no permitting. You'll never get a utility bill and you'll never run out of power. So I'm standing on uh, the ballast and traction pad and I'll come back to that in a minute of this product here, the EV Arc. EV Arc stands for Electric Vehicle Autonomous Renewable Charger. And the word to really underline there is autonomous. This EV Arc is not connected to anything at all. We didn't require a utility hookup, not connected to the electrical grid, and it's not even connected to the ground either, <laughs> except by gravity. You can see it's just sitting here on the ground. What we're doing is we're converting sunlight into electricity up here with this uh, solar array. The solar array is actually tracking the sun. It's following the sun as it moves through the, the sky during the day using our patented tracking solution. And that gives us about 25% more electricity than if this was a fixed array. And of course, 25% more electricity means 25% more operating time for this uh, piece of equipment here uh, or any electric piece of equipment that you plug into it. Electricity is then stored inside onboard energy storage here. So this thing is going to charge your equipment day or night or during periods of inclement weather and of course anywhere that there's no grid connection or if there's a blackout or a brownout will keep your equipment operating even during those types of events. So up inside this enclosure above my head here we've got a bunch of energy storage and computers and electronics which are conditioning that electricity, storing the electricity and then making it possible to deliver it into this piece of equipment. All of that's stored on top of this column here, and that's in, in itself attached to this uh, base plate here. This is an engineered ballast and traction pad. Actually kind of a, a bit of a camber in, the, in that. That's a structural element, but it also keeps it free of water and mud and things in that sort of environment. And actually this thing I'm standing on is at once the dumbest and the smartest part of the entire invention. Because it's because of this thing that I'm standing on that we're able to drop these off in any environment without doing any construction work. This is not glued down, it's not bolted down. There was no on-site preparation for this at all. 
We're able to deploy on blacktop, on concrete. As you can see here, we're on gravel. Uh, we're also deployed on sand and grass. In fact, just about any surface will support this thing because although it's very heavy, uh, the whole product weighs just over 10,000 pounds. Almost all of that weight's down here. Weight is our friend. That's what stops it blowing away during windstorms. It's rated for 120 mile per hour winds, but has in fact withstood 185 mile an hour category five winds down in the Caribbean. Anything snow will throw at it, anything seismic will throw at it, this product will, will survive that. And it's largely thanks to this thing that I'm standing on here right now. Although it's very heavy, oddly enough, it's actually exerting less pounds per square inch on the ground than I am. I'm a lot lighter than it, but I'm point loading all my weight through my little feet. Whereas this thing's got this large and very stable platform to, 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 to deliver all the weight on it. So you can put this anywhere you like, feel very confident about that. You can deploy it in minutes and you're gonna have all the power that you need to, to charge your uh, uh, construction equipment without ever getting a utility bill, without asking anyone's permission. And when you're finished, pick it up, take it with you to the next site. It's transportable. It's permanent if you want it to be, it's a 20 year product, but it's transportable and you can move it around from site to site as your needs change. One of the other features that I really like about this is the, as well as AC charging the electric units, you could also draw off 110 or 120 power to charge computers or run light towers or whatever you want to do off it. So uh, as well as this, we're looking at a variety of other options as we develop the electric lines and the electric op or offerings at Volvo. So one of the things that we find is as we go into the heavier machines, we're going to have to go to higher voltage batteries, higher power supplies. So we are working with Beam on getting a more powerful uh, solar charging array uh, deployed. But we're also looking at other technologies, direct charging off a DC basis into these machines. So this is a 48 volt direct charge. We also will go right up to 600 volt direct charge. We're even looking at induction charging for different machines. So you park over a spot on the ground, the charger feeds electricity into one plate. It charges a plate on the machine and charges without having to hook up wires or make any contact with the machine at all. So there's a num variety of different options. We, of course, are looking at fuel cells and the possibility of using those even as a generating means uh, for electric equipment and finally all kinds of grid connected uh, chargers. So uh, we know charging is a, a subject that's on a lot of people's mind because how well, how efficiently you can charge the machine and set up the charging cycle in your operations is how efficient these machines are going to be and are going to operate on your site. So we know that's a big concern of a lot of customers. We welcome the questions. We want to explain the different avenues that we're looking at, the different things that we're going to be bringing out to power the, the Volvo line and not only make it as efficient as your diesel machine, give you opportunities that you never had before because of low emissions, zero emissions and quiet operation and no vibration operation. So please join us, uh, type in your questions to the chat or join us for a live chat uh, and we'll be delighted to answer any of your questions on the solar charging stations or on any other charging uh, items that you may have or electric equipment item questions that you may have. Yeah, and Ray, we've, uh, we've been charging electric vehicles for over a decade now uh, of all different shapes and sizes and so we'd be delighted to answer any questions that you have about charging in general. Uh, obviously Volvo are the great experts on the equipment over here but on the charging side of the house we'll uh, share with you what we've learned during this last decade. Um, it's hard to find anybody that's been in this industry for very long but we're kind of grey hairs in the space so we'll share with you what we've learned.